In Court on TKOA Television is brought to you in part by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. case. He is on misdemeanor probation. He is now uh, serving a, a probation on a felony case out of Greene County, Arkansas. I've spoken with his probation officer here and it's Mr. Golden's intentions to complete a drug rehabilitation program through a program called Jumpstart Ministries in the Greene County case and uh, would also want to transfer his supervision in our case to Greene County. He has served 17 days in jail uh, on our case, and the uh, probation officer was recommending that our case be converted to a contempt of credit for time served, extend his probation for one year because he still owes the monetary obligations, and add a condition that he complete that uh, treatment program. And of course, we don't object to his probation being transferred to Greene County. Is, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Judge, what, what he will admit to is that he was placed on misdemeanor probation, and during that time, um, he failed to pay his, his monetary obligation with this court. And obviously, he, he does have and picked up a new charge in another county and has been found guilty on that charge. Is, is that correct, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. This time, sir, I uh, find you contempt of court for violating the terms and conditions of your probation. <clears throat> extend your probation one year. You've served 17 days in the county jail with credit for time served. You're ordered to successfully complete a drug treatment through Jumpstart Ministries. And transfer your probation if they will accept you. Thank you, sir. You got your okay. stuff paid over there, okay? You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. Anything else? No, sir. Thank you. Your Honor, a, uh, Josephine Bounds has, a, has appeared. Uh, she's present, Your Honor. Uh, she was arrested. Come on up. She was arrested in February on a charge of possession of controlled substance methamphetamine. Signed a waiver. A uh, bond was set at $5,000. She signed a waiver to appear today. She's posted bond. Uh, I'm not sure why, but formal charges have not been filed yet. Uh, if she'll just stay in touch with her bondsman, she'll be notified when to come to court. It'll be fine. So, <clears throat> am I dismissed? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Now, Mr. Jones in 15201, he's to appear before Judge Webb next week. Is that right? That's correct, Your Honor. I'm not sure where the. Yeah. My date list went. It's the 24th, I know, I was just looking for my... It 
went on the table. Well, anyway, I'm going to order you up here before Judge Webb next week at 8.30, or soon as thereafter as he can get to you. Okay. Judge. Uh, this is 15201 Dillon Jones. Uh, yes. Sorry, Judge. Uh, Mr. Jones has uh, pled into drug court on the other case, the, substance, the new charge. Uh, when we were in court uh, the last time uh, in this before you, he was served and arrested on the revocation case, which is pending, the case pending before this court, and uh, a bond was never set in that case. And speaking with Mr. Bradford, um, uh, Mr. Bradford indicated he wouldn't object to letting that uh, bond, if the bondsman would agree, cover the revocation case until next week. Um, Ms. Um, Mr. Jones has his family members here that he will be uh, staying with and they'll be watching him and he's he's uh, agreed if the court orders it to be drug tested uh, between now and next week. Okay. Judge, can I please check with Yolan on that? I believe he'll have to go to RPF he because he's a drug court and we usually he will judge. prefer for him to stay in jail. Okay. Prior to going to RPF, waiting on bed space. Oh, hold on. Is he going to RPF? He is next week, Judge, when, when he pleads on the other case. But until then, uh, he's kind of in limbo well, sitting at the jail. Is this something Judge Webb should make a decision on? I mean. Well, that's a good question. Uh, He's, he's, got, he's on a list, waiting bed space to go to RPF? He should be. I mean, I haven't looked at his screen or anything, but I'm assuming since he's already pled in drug court, he should be on the RPF waiting list. Are you, do you know if, when you're leaving for RPF yet? Okay. No, I don't. I was just hoping. I mean, I could find out for sure, but, you know, they usually put him on the bed space immediately after they What, leave. Judge Webb sentenced him to RPF? Well, he's sentenced to drug court, and we'll have to do the RPF, the 90 days or whatever, oh, prior to being yeah, in drug court. I, I don't know how that works. So. I was just why, don't you, why don't we ask Judge Webb about it? Okay. Because if, that's, if it's drug court. But if he doesn't have to go to, if, if he doesn't have to stay in because of RPF, I have no objection to being released on the bond if the bondsman's willing to do that. Judge, he will have to go to RPF. Our, on, our only request is, is between now and when he pleads on this other case, uh, if he could. Has he pled on a case yet? Yes, he pled on. Before the, Judge Webb. Before Judge Webb. I'd really rather he make that decision because yes. it's, it's, it's his area, the drug court. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Judge. Okay. We'll check. State versus Eddie Criswell, failure to register as a sex offender. Incorrect permanent address on the identification card 17 72. Defender's office to represent you. You appear here for an arraignment. And how does he plead? Not guilty, Judge. We'll enter the plea of not guilty. This case is before another judge, Judge Gordon Webb, but he'll be here a week from today at 8:30. So I'll direct that you appear at that time, unless there's other arrangements made. Judge, he's in the Grimes unit. I don't know. Yeah, it may be that you just need to contact the, the Judge Webb's office and they just issue an order scheduling the matter. Yes, sir. Wouldn't make much sense to bring him back up, but I'll let them decide that. Yes, sir. Thank you, Judge. <clears> okay. <throat> Sport Heritage Line. 
Only from Yamaha. Every week, TKOA Television's Dennis King sits down with area leaders to make a connection about the good things happening in our area. In this web-exclusive special, Dennis sits down with 3rd District U.S. Representative Steve Womack, who gives us an update on what all is really going on in the nation's capital. Join us as TKOA shares another great connection. This is Josh from Harrison Battery and Tire. Lots of folks have been asking about roadside assistance, and now it's available. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, we can quickly and efficiently take care of your tires and battery issues with one phone call. Professional, secure, comforting to get you back on the road. No matter what time, no matter what type of vehicle you drive, call for details at 870-741-7041. Harrison Battery and Tire on the curve of Main Street in Harrison. HarrisonBatteryandTire.com. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. Hello, this is Michelle from Nature's Wonders. This time of year, people tend to be disappointed in themselves for not following through with New Year's resolutions. Well, we have a thought for you. Why New Year's resolutions? Why not New Day resolutions? Each day is an opportunity for us to start fresh, have a new attitude, be more positive, and take better care of ourselves. We're here to help by providing the natural and organic grocery and supplements that you need. Come see us at Nature's Wonders on Highway 65 in Harrison, just down from Thompson's Ace Hardware. And remember, when you start each day, make a New Day resolution to be a better and healthier you. Spring is here and Quality Feed Grains has Spring High Mag Loose Mineral to prevent incidents of grass tetany in your beef cattle. They're now taking orders for baby chicks through May 31st and baby ducks through April 14th. Mark your calendar for April 8th and join them for Customer Appreciation Day from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. Quality Feed Grains with two locations, 4617 Highway 65 South and 311 East Prospect in Harrison. Welcome to our One for Everyone sales event. We're looking for something safe. Yeah. The 2017 Corolla, RAV4, and more come with Toyota Safety Sense standard. Does it come with the, and then it yeah. kind of... <gasps> Lane departure alert. Yeah. Standard. Oh. But does it have the thing that you're like, you're like... Kind of like... Ah! But it helps you stop. Pre-collision system. Standard. Now, during the One for Everyone sales event, get $2,000 customer cash, or qualified lessees can lease a stylish new 2017 Corolla LE for only $179 a month. Key. Standard. Toyota. Let's go places. My name is Deborah. I work at Dental Creations on the Square in Harrison. Not only do I work at the front desk, but I'm also a dental assistant. So I'm seeing you from the beginning, throughout the whole process, and even at the end of the process. We're happy to help in any way we possibly can, and I think that sets us apart from most offices. We don't just hustle you through here just to, just to make a dollar. We're here for you, and, and we want to do the best we can for you. Dental Creations on the Square in Harrison, next to the Big Red Boot. <laughs> Okay, we have a Newton County case. Uh, Brian McCutcheon, 17-7. Looks like it's breaking or in or criminal trespass. You Mr. McCutcheon? Are you yes. Mr. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, sir. Are you Mr. McCutcheon? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you represent him? Judge, the office will represent him. Uh, He's filled out a couple of applications. I think he has a 177, and then there's a case that perhaps hasn't been filed yet. It's going to be it here. Judge, I do have discovery in 177. I'll provide that to Mr. Hancock. Judge, he also has, uh, I think his initial, initial case was out of 4th Division. We'd ask that both of these cases uh, make it to that division also. That's fine.
Sir, I've appointed the Public Transfer Defender's no Office problem. to represent you. It looks like you've already entered a plea of not guilty on February 17th. And then you failed to appear on March 1st <coughs> for attorney status, and an alias warrant was issued. Your Honor, I'd be willing to make a plea to the department today if I knew what the state was offering. Okay. It, it may be a little early for that. Uh, I don't. You probably haven't haven't talked to him. You don't know where he was at on March first, do you? No, sir. What's uh, what are the status of the other cases? Uh, Judge, that's the first I've heard that he may have a second case. But Mr. Hancock may be correct. It may be one that has not been formally charged yet. This is the only case that I'm aware of that we have formal charges on. Well, the original bond was fifteen hundred dollars, and I'll leave it at that. So, anything else? No, sir. Okay, we'll have him appear before uh, Judge Webb if we transfer this case. Let's see when he'll be here. I guess he's here on the 20, March 24th at 8.30 a.m. in Harrison, should you bond out. All right, thank you. You have Amanda Mundy there? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, we can talk with her. Sure. Are you Amanda Mundy? Yes, I am. Uh, Ms. Mundy, I've looked at an affidavit here <coughs> and found that there's probable cause for detaining you for charges that might include criminal trespass and uh, criminal mischief. Uh, this is your first appearance before court. You have a right to remain silent. Anything you say might well be used against you in court. You have a right to a lawyer. If you can't uh, afford a lawyer, make application to the public defender's office, and if you qualify, we'll appoint a public defender to represent you while you're in the jail subject to the reasonable, rec reasonable regulations rather of the sheriff's department you have a right to communicate with your family friends and your attorney and as I said I've uh, reviewed the affidavit and found there's probable cause for your attention what would be a reasonable bond in this matter judge I would think that 1500 would be sufficient okay I'll set your bond at $1,500 and uh, let's see should you bond, just stay in contact with your bondsman about your next court date. Because I don't know what. Okay, thank you, ma'am. A cash or pro, yes. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, we'll take up Larry Ray Britt Jr.'s case, 17 53, charge of possession of a firearm by certain persons and theft by receiving. Good morning. Mr. Britt is currently an inmate at the uh, East Arkansas Regional Unit based on a conviction in an earlier case, and we had him transported for arraignment. Okay. Do you have a lawyer, sir, Mr. Britt? Yes. Yeah. Say it again. I don't. Yes, I don't. Okay. Uh, are you going to hire a lawyer or make application to the Public Defender's Office? I'll make application to the Public Defender's Office. Okay. I'll... Uh, Fill out an application, turn it, you have, have it? It's a partial one, Judge. Let me look at it there, it may be. Uh, okay, I'm looking at an application. Apparently you started filling out, you, you, you'll, yeah. need, you'll need to sign it. Okay. In the, but at any rate, it looks like you're going to qualify, so I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. Plead not guilty on that, Judge. Wave reading. Okay. okay, we'll enter a plea of not guilty to these allegations, and uh, my office will send out a scheduling order to your lawyer. He'll let you know when your next appearance is going to be. Thank you. That'd be all. State versus Dominic Bruins. 17-63, charge of rape. Good morning. Morning. Let's see, you've already entered a plea of not guilty and are just appearing to get on this court scheduling order. We've issued a scheduling order, and your next appearance before the court will be May 12 at 9.30 a.m. Is there anything else to take up? So it doesn't look uh, yes, like we have any. Like to, uh, Hold on, Mr. Bruins. Hold on a second. Judge, it doesn't look like we have discovery at this point. Okay. Judge, now that we know, um, 
We know the public defender's office is on board. We'll make a copy of our file and get that to the public defender's office as soon as possible. Um, I do have a notice that was filed by Jeremy. Is this going to be his case, Dan, or do you know? I don't know at this point. But nevertheless, we'll get discovery to the public defender's office soon. Okay. Can you think of anything else? What is it, Mr. Bruins? Yes, I would like to speak to you one-on-one -on -one whenever you come down here as soon as possible. Okay. All right. All right. We'll leave it as scheduled. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Billy Evans, 1771-1761, uh, terroristic act, terroristic threatening, first-degree assault, violation of an order of protection. Good morning. Good morning. Do you have a lawyer, sir? Uh, Okay. All right. Well, there should be an application there at the jail. To fill it out, turn it in, and we'll uh, we'll have you back for attorney status. April fourteenth is next time I'm here at uh, nine thirty a.m. Okay. Well, thank you. State versus David Golden, 15-97, breaking or entering and theft of property. <coughs> if I need to have him brought over. Judge, we need to transport Mr. Golden from the, okay. from the jail over. Mr. Golden, we're going to transport you to the courthouse, okay? Thank you, sir. Sam Alexander Pharmacy has expanded and is now offering many additional products and services. Their new pharmaceutical compounding area allows them to create products to fit the unique needs of a customer. They also have added Spinco orthotic shoes and sandals, Dr. Comfort diabetic shoes, baby gifts by Aiden and Anias, and toys by Melissa and Doug. Stop in today and let them help you with any of your specialty pharmaceutical needs. Sam Alexander Pharmacy, your local Health Mart pharmacy in Harrison. Welcome to our One for Everyone sales event. We're looking for something reliable. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care. It's our two-year or 25,000-mile maintenance plan. I could do my own maintenance. Also includes 24-hour roadside assistance. All roadside my own assistance. Thank you. At no additional cost. That's great. Okay, yeah. That's Sign us it. up. Right now, get $2,500 customer cash. Or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 72 months plus a $1,000 subvention bonus on a new 2017 Camry. Now we can sell your tools. Toyota. Let's go places. You know, we should always remember to have a working smoke detector where we sleep. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're all safe. We're all safe. In an emergency, you need a meeting place outside the whole family can meet so that you know everyone is safe. Spring is here and Quality Feed Grains has Spring High Mag Loose Mineral to prevent incidents of grass tetany in your beef cattle. They're now taking orders for baby chicks through May 31st and baby ducks through April 14th. Mark your calendar for April 8th and join them for Customer Appreciation Day from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. Quality Feed Grains with two locations, 4617 Highway 65 South and 311 East Prospect in Harrison. Hello, this is Michelle from Nature's Wonders. This time of year, people tend to be disappointed in themselves for not following through with New Year's resolutions. Well, we have a thought for you. Why New Year's resolutions? Why not New Day resolutions? Each day is an opportunity for us to start fresh, have a new attitude, be more positive, and take better care of ourselves. We're here to help by providing the natural and organic grocery and supplements that you need. Come see us at Nature's Wonders on Highway 65 in Harrison, just down from Thompson's Ace Hardware. And remember, when you start each day, make a New Day resolution to be a better and healthier you. This is Josh from Harrison Battery and Tire. Lots of folks have been asking about roadside assistance, and now it's available. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, we can quickly and efficiently take care of your tires and battery issues with one phone call. Professional, secure, comforting to get you back on the road. No matter what time, no matter what type of vehicle you drive, call for details at 870-741-7041. 
Harrison Battery and Tire on the curve of Main Street in Harrison. HarrisonBatteryandTire.com. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. You're at the party, having a great time. Your kids are on the dance floor, shaking it for all they're worth. Then you hear it. That word that even your children know better than to use. Yeah, that word. So you think, doesn't the DJ know better? Man, my kids heard that. I'm Matt Duncan. I own and operate Artistry Entertainment DJ Service. I'm also a daddy. We never play questionable lyrics when kids are present, ever. Artistryentertainment.rocks. Yes, we get paid to party, and we take it seriously. I'm Randall. I work at the on-site lab at Dental Creations on the Square at Harrison. Working with Dr. Wanda is great. She's taught me a lot and showed me a lot, and she gives us the freedom to get one-on-one with the patient. If there's a problem, we can actually come out of the back and do what's best for the patient. Having this on-site lab here with the doctors, that's really nice. Dental Creations on the Square in Harrison, next to the Big Red Boot. State versus Sarah Jackson, possession of methamphetamine, 16341. Good morning. Let's see what. Judge, I show there was a failure to appear issued on December 16th. I do not believe she has been arraigned. Okay. Ma'am, do you have a lawyer? I'm looking to get in my appointment. You're going to try to hire Philip Moon? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to have you reappear on April 14th at 9.30 for arraignment and attorney status. Okay. Is there any way I need a bond set for a day? Well, well, let me look and see what what the deal is here. Judge, her original bond was $2,500. Where do you live at, ma'am? I live in Kenan, Missouri. Where, where you're at? In Kenan, Missouri. Kenan, okay. Yeah, I did come to my first court date, and I was on the docket, and I was told to call for a deal warrant. And I called, and uh, every time I called, it was like, you know, talking about. Okay. But, but I'll tell you what, uh, if, if your bond's going to stay on your bond, and agree to that in writing, I'll let you stay on that bond, be released on that bond, rather. Okay. So you might get in touch with your bondsman, but... <clears throat> uh, Otherwise, be back here on April 14th at 9.30. And make sure to appear because it'll just get worse if you don't. Okay, thank you. All right. 15223, 15236, burglaries, theft, breaking and entering, Barry Jarrett. Say, Mr. Jared, I've uh, appointed the public defender's office to represent you, and I guess we're here for any pretrial matters. Judge, um, a couple of things. Uh, Mr. Uh, Jarrett, we originally rep represented Mr. Jarrett, uh, then he hired private counsel and um, I think there was some negotiations and perhaps that something was worked out to resolve the case with Mr. Carruth and uh, Mr. Bradford. And I think Mr. Jarrett uh, left the courthouse and uh, I think the court issued a failure to appear uh, after that. Um, and that's the reason why he's in jail. I'm, I'm not sure why, uh, if Mr. Jarrett can hire a private counsel, that the public defender's office now has to re-represent Mr. Jarrett. Uh, we're, we're not really inclined unless, obviously, we'll do what the court wants us to do. But uh, in my dealings with Mr. Jarrett, uh, I don't think I could 
represent him. I think uh, our relationship had uh, broken down to a point where uh, I can't represent him. Uh, maybe someone else in the office could, but uh, it's our position that if he's hired, if he has the money to hire private counsel, then he needs to hire private counsel when he has done uh, once already. Yes. This may not be accurate, but I was under the impression that a family member had hired Mr. Burnett. Did you hire Mr. Burnett or did a family member pay for it? Uh, Your Honor, a family member paid for it. Okay. Is that, do you have, well, I don't think I would have appointed you if you had showed you had any funds, but do you have a family member willing to hire another lawyer? Uh, if I was to get out and be able to talk to him, Your Honor, there, there were some things there that day that the reason why that I didn't show back up, Your Honor, is because there were some uh, agreements, uh, some things that uh, was uh, thrown in on the plea that I didn't agree to. Yeah. I told Burnett to go up there and relinquish himself as my attorney you know, you could, to tell you all that I would be ready to go on the 7th. It, it wasn't like I, I skipped out on your on, on right. court date. Well, how, let's do this. Uh, you can visit with family members. They'll probably let you make a call to family member, and they can probably come visit you or talk to you over the phone. I'll have you come back on April 14th at uh, 9.30 to inquire about attorney status. All right, Your Honor, can I ask you about something else? Can, uh, is, is there any way that I can uh, be let back out on my, my original bond? Well, I, I, what was your original bond? I don't remember. I, uh, I, I got bonded out on all these charges. Well, who bonded you? I never skipped my, I just wanted to get my bondsman and say Well, did you have a bondsman? Yes, I had a bond. I was, out, I was out on bond. Well, have the, have the bondsman contact the prosecutor's office, and if we can work that out, we'll look into it. Is that what we need to do? That's what we need to do, yes, sir. So, so all, I got, all I got to do is, is have my bondsman contact the prosecutor's office. And see if there's an agreement. If there's not, then I'll have to rule on it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Judge, I misspoke. It was Mr. Like, like I said, Mr. Burnett, yeah. not, not Mr. Carew. I apologize. Close, close enough. State versus Dylan Jones, 15201, fleeing, assault, DWI. Judge, he'll need to be transported. Okay. okay. Mr. Jones, we're going to transport you to the courthouse later, okay? Albert Struckel, 16312, failure to register. 16313, burglary, breaking or entering, theft. They need to be transported also. Okay, Ms. Struckel, Struckel, we're going to transport you to the courthouse later. 11269, Richard Webster, Jr., criminal attempt to deliver marijuana, possession of paraphernalia. Does may I speak with Mr. Webster? Yeah, sure. You're set back over in uh, Carroll County on the 3rd of April, is that right? Right. Okay. Are they going to be able to resolve those cases with drug court, or do you know yet? Um, I'm not really sure what they want to do. I was the fact that my attorney was going to contact you. From is that Bo Allen? Sorry? Mr. Allen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're going to reset this to uh, April the 14th if the judge will let us do that, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Can we waive the time? Yes, sir. We'll have a hearing on the Arab case hearing on April 14th, 930 or soon thereafter. We can get to it. And, Judge, our intentions are, if he is accepted into the Carroll County Drug Court Program, uh, that we would anticipate pleading our cases to run concurrent with that. Very well. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Ms. Worley's case is 16289, possession of control 16289. Ms. Worley, who is your bondsman? Are, are, are y'all willing to stay on her bond or maybe putting you on the spot? Brooklyn Worley. Could we speak to someone about it before I say Why, this? sure. Okay. Why, sure. Thank you, Judge. It, it, we will. I believe we're going to we'll be able to, but I need to speak to somebody. 
Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Ms. Worley, uh, if, if the bondsman is agreeable and they're going to have to check to stay on your bond, I'm going to allow you to be released on your present bond. Let's see. This was for a pretrial. Are there any pretrial matters? Judge, since he's uh, been absent, um, I haven't had a chance to talk to her. There's a couple of things I need to talk to her about. Okay. If we, if we well, can just reset the pretrial to the 14th. We'll, we'll continue the pretrial to April 14th. And, you, ma'am, you've got, yes, say again. Well, you, you may well do it. Uh, the bondsman's checking to see if he, he, he can stay on your bond. If you, uh, if, if that's not possible, if someone will uh, contact me, I'll, I'll try to set a bond that you, you can make. But uh, anyway, you need to, you got to appear, all right? Okay, well, if good deal. If you get out, Ms. Worley, you need to contact the public defender's office and come see me, okay? Fifteen two oh nine State versus Antonio Antonio rather Oscar possession of marijuana with the purpose to deliver paraphernalia driving on suspended careless and driving driving yes. yes your honor and your honor the the commission contacted me after Mr Davis I believe was relieved um, and I accepted the appointment and entered my appearance and requested discovery all right um, I and I've I've provided the prosecuting attorney with a motion to suppress uh, that I intend to have a hearing on and I, and I will have that filed before I leave the courthouse today um, and I, I talked to the prosecuting attorney about also addressing uh, a speedy trial issue and um, if it pleases the court I think uh, that the prosecutor had indicated maybe the 31st would be an appropriate time to hear hear both of those motions we don't have a regular Friday docket scheduled for that day your honor but we do have a, a non-jury trial with myself and mr. pasting that morning okay and so we proposed that uh, we could hold uh, the hearings in the Oscar case that afternoon March 31st yes sir at 1 o'clock that would be fantastic okay, your honor so we'll take up at least the two motions the most to press and motion regarding speedy trial and anything else that may arise thank you and your I honor. did scan and uh, mailed to uh, mr. short a copy of our file so. All right. that's correct uh, and I would like to say to the court uh, upon receiving discovery uh, the prosecution has left off left out exculpatory evidence um, in order to mislead my attorney uh, we also I also have evidence that mr. bunch Filed to have my attorney Andrew Bailey removed from my case, um, and that's why he was removed from my case. It was not at the request of the commission; it was at the request of an attorney that I had already filed a complaint against, who interfered with my case and my representation in my case. Um, the the motion to dismiss for lack of speedy trial has already been filed by Andrew Bailey and argued with the state, um, and that is why he was removed from my case. I would like for all of this to be on the record for uh, appeals purposes. Okay, we got it on the record. But uh, you represent about a good attorney now, and we'll proceed from there. And on, the, on the 31st, do I need to sign any orders or uh, no, no notice? We, okay. We I just wanted to make sure. I, I understand yeah. the date, Your Honor. I just wanted to make sure I didn't need to sign any yeah, orders. Yeah. Uh, every place is different. All right. right. Thank, Thank you, Your Honor. With that, may I be excused? Yes, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Out of Newton County, 16-99, State versus Joshua Smith. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. How are you doing? Let's see. But how many files do you have on Mr. Smith? Well, I don't know. can just have one. There may be more. I don't know. But I have two 8.1 forms on him. One's for possession of drug paraphernalia. The other's for theft by receiving. Yeah, the others got arrested last week on that. This that's is what for, that's what here for. I should have said what this is for. I'm fine. Aggravated assault, domestic battery, endangering the welfare of a minor okay. in the second degree. So there may be two other cases coming down that formal Could charges be. haven't been filed on yet. Well, he said my sheet the other day on them charges, and there's supposed to be another with some more drug charges in that case. We're supposed to, they got a separate jury trial for May 4th. Okay. All right, then. You got you, you got you sent me. Yeah. These are the actual new charges. I, can I get them put together? Oh, you may not want to ask now. You might not talk to your lawyer about it. Let's see. How much time is going to be next minute, I'm sure. 
my way. Your Honor, there's a note made by Judge Kirkpatrick on the 8.1s on these new charges that uh, Mr. Smith may have indicated that he was going to try to retain the counsel. It says the defendant stated he would retain an attorney. Okay, well, in this case, the public defender has been representing him and he's supposed to have a pretrial on March 1st. Maybe it was moved to today. Do you know Mr. Hancock? I don't remember, Judge. I uh, Did we reset it? Well, yeah, yeah, I got a sheet where you guys said for a pre trial. April the 12th. Jerry, I mean, did, did you show up in Jasper on March 1st? Yeah. Okay. Y'all gonna come out here on March 13th? Did you? He's got two meeting county cases set up already for over and over. He was supposed to reappear in April on those two. I think he's here for an 8.1 on this. I'm moving the county charges. Okay, well, since he's been released, I, go, I guess we'd need an 8.1. And, and but Judge Kirkpatrick conducted 8.1s on both of those new charges on March the 6th. Let me ask this. Is there anything to be done today? No, sir. Just Not that I'm aware of. Stay in contact with your lawyers. Sir. Thank you so much. I guess he needs to, does he need to appear on April the 12th then in uh, Newton County on, on these? or? Yes, okay. April 12th. Uh, I asked okay. him to say like the endangerment of her minor. Uh-huh. Uh, Mr. Tyler, she did. Uh, they, she dismissed that, I guess. Okay. We'll, go off from we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Thank right. you, sir. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. I'm Randall. I work at the on-site lab at Dental Creations on the Square at Harrison. Working with Dr. Wanda is great. She's taught me a lot and showed me a lot, and she gives us the freedom to get one-on-one -on -one with the patient. If there's a problem, we can actually come out of the back and do what's best for the patient. Having this on-site lab here with the doctors, that's really nice. Dental Creations on the Square in Harrison, next to the Big Red Boot. You know, we should always remember to have a working smoke detector where we sleep. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we're all safe, we're all safe. In an emergency, you need a meeting place outside the whole family can meet so that you know everyone is safe. Hello, this is Michelle from Nature's Wonders. This time of year, people tend to be disappointed in themselves for not following through with New Year's resolutions. Well, we have a thought for you. Why New Year's resolutions? Why not New Day resolutions? Each day is an opportunity for us to start fresh, have a new attitude, be more positive, and take better care of ourselves. We're here to help by providing the natural and organic grocery and supplements that you need. Come see us at Nature's Wonders on Highway 65 in Harrison, just down from Thompson's Ace Hardware. And remember, when you start each day, make a New Day resolution to be a better and healthier you. Welcome to our One for Everyone sales event. We're looking for something safe. Yeah. The 2017 Corolla, RAV4, and more come with Toyota Safety Sense standard. Does it come with the, and then it yeah. kind of... <gasps> Lane departure alert. Yeah. Standard. Oh. But does it have the thing that you like? You're like... Kind of like... Ah! But it helps you stop. Pre-collision system. Standard. Now, during the One for Everyone sales event, get $2,000 customer cash, or qualified lessees can lease a stylish new 2017 Corolla LE for only $179 a month. Key. Standard. Toyota, let's go places. Join Sammy Klein Thursdays and Fridays during the TK08 local newscast for this week's closing livestock market report. Made possible by Quality Feed Grains of Harrison and Belfont. Quality Feed Grains has you covered. Everything for cattle, pets, deer, equine, poultry, seed and spray, show feed, and garden. Check their website, qualityfeedgrains.com, now for this month's special. Quality Feed Grains of Harrison and Belfont. Proud sponsors of the Livestock Report with Sammy Klein on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8.
This is Josh from Harrison Battery and Tire. Lots of folks have been asking about roadside assistance, and now it's available. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, we can quickly and efficiently take care of your tires and battery issues with one phone call. Professional, secure, comforting to get you back on the road. No matter what time, no matter what type of vehicle you drive, call for details at 870-741-7041. Harrison Battery and Tire on the curve of Main Street in Harrison, harrisonbatteryandtire.com. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. Jeffrey Birchfield, 17-51, theft by receiver. Morning. Morning. Let's see, you, you appeared earlier. Entered a plea of not guilty. He's made application, has he? I've appointed the public defender's office to represent you, sir, and you've already entered a plea of not guilty. It looks like your next appearance is May 12th at 9.30, but as soon as possible, you need to make an appointment at the public defender's office and visit with them. Thank you. 17-11, State versus Richard Burrell, commercial burglary, theft, criminal mischief. Judge, I've been appointed to represent Mr. Burrell in this case. State has just provided discovery. I see you pre-trial April 14th and trial June 19th, so we just leave it on the schedule. Okay. Thank you, Judge. That's all I have, Matt. The excuse. Yes. All right. State versus Patrick Chenard. Chenard, right? Criminal mischief, disorderly conduct, 16193. Judge, uh, Mr. Chenard has been evaluated by um, Dr. Wood, and I expect the report next week, and we'll need to uh, have a hearing on the responsibility prong of uh, the mental health issues, and I think we're going to try to do that on the 14th. We've got three dates uh, that we're going to give the doctors and see if they're available on any of those dates before the next trial setting in June, uh, if that's okay. That's right. All right, we'll attempt to have a hearing uh, regarding his uh, ability to go to trial or whether we should pursue the case on April 14th. Thank you, Judge. We'll continue to toll the time. Thank you, sir. 17-66, State versus Kerry Crockett, project use of a debit or credit card, four counts. Forgery. for public defender, okay. I believe Mr. Friend. Friend? Uh-huh. Jeremy Friend. Okay. So, I plead not guilty. Okay, well, let me let me look at this and then we'll get to that. Okay. We'll enter a plea of not guilty.
Dan, you may go ahead and provide discovery on this crop. Yeah. Okay, ma'am, I've appointed the Public Defender's Office to represent you. As you requested, we'll enter a plea of not guilty. This case is before Judge Webb, another judge. And let's see. It was March 24th. I think he starts at what time? 8.30. 8.30. And I suppose it would be Mr. Friend or Gibson to represent you. Thank you. Judge? Yes. Terry Bruce is in Washington Regional. Um, I think he's attempting to plead into drug court. Okay. I think, that, I think he was screened for, for drug court earlier this week. Okay. I don't know how the screening went, but I think but he is incarcerated. All right. He's in the Washington yeah. County Jail? Um, no, Washington Regional Correctional Facility. Oh, okay. That, so. Okay. Judge, I do have the screen results back. He, he is has been deemed to found eligible for drug court. Okay. So. Well, I'll, uh, let's see. I'll have him appear, order that he appear before Judge Webb on March 24th for a drug court plea. Should that not go through, I'll set him for April 14th to appear before this court. Yeah, we'll withdraw the warrant. He's <clears throat> in jail, I guess. Detained at any rate. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. When you support a locally owned pharmacy, you're contributing to the growth of a community. The dollars you spend stay right here to support our local community. Healthmart pharmacies are locally owned pharmacies. There is one right here. Healthmart pharmacists have a crucial commitment to their community because just like you, they support their community. Healthmart pharmacies are locally owned and hometown proud. Harrison has a Healthmart now. Sam Alexander Pharmacy, on the square in downtown Harrison. Healthmart, caring for you and about you. You know, we should always remember to have a working smoke detector where we sleep. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we're all safe, we're all safe. In an emergency, you need a meeting place outside the whole family can meet so that you know everyone is safe. Spring is here, and Quality Feed Grains has Spring High Mag Loose Mineral to prevent incidents of grass tetany in your beef cattle. They're now taking orders for baby chicks through May 31st and baby ducks through April 14th. Mark your calendar for April 8th and join them for Customer Appreciation Day from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. Quality Feed Grains with two locations, 4617 Highway 65 South and 311 East Prospect in Harrison. Ah, sweet Louise, do you dream of Hercules? To be the best jazz boy in town, where you show off something, the best there ever was. The new Sport Heritage Line. Well, it won't mean nothing unless you try my love and bring it right to you, Louise. Only from Yamaha. You're at the party, having a great time. Your kids are on the dance floor, shaking it for all they're worth. Then you hear it. That word. That even your children know better than to use. Yeah, that word. So you think, doesn't the DJ know better? Man, my kids heard that. I'm Matt Duncan. I own and operate Artistry Entertainment DJ Service. I'm also a daddy. We never play questionable lyrics when kids are present. Ever. Artistryentertainment.rocks. Yes, we get paid to party. And we take it seriously. I'm Randall. I work at the on-site lab at Dental Creations on the Square at Harrison. Working with Dr. Wanda is great. She's taught me a lot and showed me a lot. And she gives us the freedom to 
get one-on-one -on -one with the patient. If there's a problem, we can actually come out of the back and do what's best for the patient. Having this on-site lab here with the doctors, that's really nice. Dental Creations on the Square in Harrison, next to the Big Red Boot. State versus Amanda Guthrie, also known as Amanda Skinner. Simultaneous possession of drugs and firearms, possession of controlled substance with purpose to deliver, paraphernalia, endangering the welfare of a man. Okay. Judge, uh, there's, there was an outstanding discovery issue the last time, the last couple times we were here. Yes, sir. Um, it still hasn't been answered to my satisfaction, so I guess we'll need to have a hearing on that issue okay. regarding the. Uh, video on the, on the on the 14th if that's okay very well but i will take up a uh, free trial hearing motion on april 14th and extend the uh, plea deadline at least april 28th then i have to move again stay in contact with your lawyer ma'am thank you judge state versus leighton rogers 16 303, possession of methamphetamine, no seatbelt. Too late. Judge, uh, in this case, we're going to need the entire uh, file from the crime lab. And okay. if there's any video evidence, uh, we'll need that as well. Other than that, I think uh, we'll be ready for trial. Okay. Anything else? No, sir. Stay in contact with your lawyers. In Court on TKLA Television is brought to you in part by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138.